Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to do, we're going to draw a person in a squatting position. So we have done squatting position before in which we have shown a person performing a squat with a bar or an object across the back. But we've shown that from a different angle, this is being shown from the front angle. So what we will start off with is We'll solidify this a little bit more. That is the bar. Let's say that there are weights or maybe it's just a stick or an object that is placed behind the person. And our core framework is pretty much this. The head is like right there. The delts chest the arms will be placed like that so there's foreshortening because the upper arm is usually much more like at least it comes till here and we've just shortened it till here because there is going backward actually more the body itself the torso is going backward as well with the abs the chest like pretty much popping out because the back is arced in this when the weight comes down across the back of the neck and it's just around here just behind the neck and it's being supported and when the person goes up and down to perform the squat the the, the entire consensus is to arc the body forward so you we could do circles like that just for as, as a guiding frame and so that it's in the mentality to put everything out like that and then of course we have the legs here so some foreshortening not a lot going on there but some foreshortening to accommodate for that front angle and then of course we have the feet the shin the calf to round this up now we will do different things with the hands but for now we will put the core frame together Now there might be some positions in which if some uh, angle placements in which even less of the body is visible. So there's the arms going like right back and then coming outward. We have to put the forearm in front. We have to make sure of that and we have Because the usually the squatting bar is thicker we will have the fingers just going the thumb and the fingers going around it in somewhat open manner open means that they're not exactly necessarily closed around the bar but if it's a thinner bar yes the fingers can close in but right here we have one standard Olympic bar. So it's a thicker bar. And again, we can just close the fingers around if it's a thinner bar, like right, right around there. But that's one squatting position that we have now. We have to cover one more angle here. So let's say that just like in the Rocky movies, person is carrying and right around here again that's the bottom of the object is carrying a trunk a tree, tr tree trunk let's say so we'll just do a broken tree trunk so in this case we have to make some changes and the change will be that we have to change the placement of the arms so we need some finger set to go right here so they will not of course they will not wrap the branch so they'll be just like that like little sausages uh, placed around sort of like that 
thumb need not be visible or show a little bit of it like this but need not be visible and we have to imagine that that hand which was extended is going behind the branch coming around like that and ending here somewhere and we will try to keep it parallel but sometimes yes it can be a little lopsided because that is the that's the way anatomy works and of course the shoulder set the delts will come up and in that case it will cast an impression of this type of so the anatomy will come across like that now this is looking a little convoluted up and so we will make it less confusing in just a second but that's how it will generally work and we could have the person perhaps performing lunges like seated lunges with the tree trunk like you saw like some of you might have seen or most of you might have seen in the Rocky Balboa movie I forgot this I think it was the second installment in the series and in that case we could also have let's say right here one thigh going that way and the foot like that and of course the other thigh could remain like this and we could also even in the squatting position we could move them inward a little bit as well which would bring the knee nice and big here the thigh in a real crunch and we'll have one foot more foreshortened so this one is going to the side but that one will be more foreshortened and coming outward like that and of course a bit of the anatomy will shift accordingly if, if it has to. But right here in foreshortening again, there's the shin, the heel, and the foot right there. And that means that person is on one knee. So we will actually end with highlighting one of these poses so that it's not as confusing. So there's the fingers right there on the trunk and we will tap into that pose for today's little exercise and let's hope that this was helpful we are choosing the more inward placement of the thigh and the leg and of course we will go right there and there we have it so squatting positions and what we can do with them we can even do other things we can widen this grip here right till here we could even like shorten the grip but not realistic because the fingers will keep vanishing the closer the it, the arms the hands get to the head and we could also change these positions you could have a lesser squat so that the person is going down we could also have both these together legs closer together in which case of course the person will go higher we could explore that in a different video as well i think it will be helpful but thank you for watching please subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day